Hey guys, and welcome back to another Koi Boost Corner. Today, we're going to tackle the issue of player risk. So let me let you all in on a DM secret. Risk is what makes the game fun. But what does that really mean? Well, it means that if a player is going out of their way to take the safest, most secure route, it's going to be fucking boring as shit. It's our jobs as DMs to make the campaign fun. And every time you players take the safe way or try to avoid some sort of risk, it pisses us off a little. I mean, how much fun would it be if every time you gambled, you won? Sure, the, the first few hands would be great, but after your 10th straight blackjack, it's going to be boring. The same concept applies to D&D. If you're taking the safe route, it's going to be boring, and we're going to throw a wrench in your plans. But, if you, but the converse holds true as well. If you take risky options of your own accord, we're more likely to be kind and support your plans and give you lenient rulings in situations. After all, this is a game about having cool interactions with things. It's not a game about just completing objectives. Now, this doesn't mean that you should just go out and charge into every single situation because you know the DM's going to bail you out if you just charge headlong into things because we're not going to bail you out. What it does mean is if you recognize there's a risk, take precautions but proceed anyway, we're more likely to smile on that and act favorably, maybe giving you that plus one to hit in that certain situation that you're trying to lawyer, right? So um, let's take an example. Let's say you need to get from one town to another, and there are two ways. One way is through the haunted pass that no one's ever returned from. Ooh. And the other way is by going over the sea, where there's pirates and corsairs, and you might get boarded and attacked. But instead, the player, thinking that they're super clever, is like, ah, well, we're just going to avoid all those problems by going south, around the hills, and to the other town, thus avoiding any danger. Ha ha ha. Well, now you've just pissed off the DM because the way you want to take is boring and you're not putting any effort into it at all. It's super lame. And we're going to find some bullshit reason to give you some trouble on the way. You know what would have been more fun? Going through the haunted pass or going over the sea and fighting pirates. Don't just walk blindly in there, though. You know, to do some preparation. For example, you can work within the system. Look into local legends about the past. When did it become haunted? Who or what is haunting it? Can they be defeated? Do they have some other motivations that you can exploit? When do they show up? Maybe you find that zombies only come out at night, but there's hundreds of them. Well, you don't have to just fight them. What if each player has three horses and you ride your horses and, you know, wear each one out in turn and travel really hard during the day and push through the night and you, like, beat through, make it through the pass in a short enough time that the zombies can't get you or you, you know, night falls and you're escaping the zombies and they're chasing after you, but your horses are faster than them. You know, something like that. Or, maybe asking around, you find out that the pass is controlled by this zombie lord, cursed to haunt the pass until he can atone for murdering his wife in a jealous rage. You know, and then maybe you can, uh, what do you call it, free him of his troubles by reuniting him with the corpse of his once bride. And she, you know, she can talk, he can talk to her spirit and she can forgive him and then the curse is lifted. You know, that might work. Or it might backfire and all of a sudden everyone's attacking you. But at least it's going to have been a fun interaction. The point is this. D and D is a game. D and D is a game of obstacles. You want to get from point A to point B, literally or metaphorically, and it's the job of the DM to make that journey fun and interesting. Try and help the DM with this by doing fun or interesting things of your own accord, and you're gonna find you enjoy the game more, and the DM's gonna be more lenient and like help you out in situations. Don't make the game. Don't make it hard for the DM to do something interesting. Look out for interesting things of your own accord. On the other hand, if you're always trying to like just get to whatever the objective, the long-term objective is, and you're trying to like avoid all the obstacles in your past and just get to the objective, it's going to be really boring and really frustrating, and you're not going to enjoy the game, and the DM's not going to enjoy the game. Instead, go for the challenges, take the risks, treat ob every obstacle in your path with passion and intensity, and you're going to find you have a lot more fun. Life is about the journey, not the goal. The game is about the journey not the goal. Have fun with it. Take risks. Lose characters. That's the game. Good luck. Have fun and see you next time.